Uh, and yep, we kind of start. Let me just share my window. Okay, uh, it's no noisy. Okay, sorry for for the noise. Okay, um, so you you guys can hear my my sorry you guys can see my screen right <laughs> yeah okay okay great so let's get started on our week three uh weekly challenge um so this is going to be an amazing challenge i can't wait to get started on it uh, so the title is uh corporate financial analysis with data gathering by using uh, or via llms which is a uh, large language models um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to just go. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start with the project scenario. So uh, for this project, we're going to have uh, three phases. So uh, for uh, the two phases are mandatory, and the third and final phase is uh, optional, but a lot of fun to uh, participate in. Um, so let's get started with the first uh, phase. So if, uh, as usual, if you have questions, if uh, my is not uh, audible, uh, make sure to just raise your hand and, uh, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, talk. Okay, so uh, for the scenario, uh, you are a junior employee at a major ice cream company. Uh, and your responsibility is just uh, as a customer service department. But uh, so as a junior, you want to pay, to make uh, an impression and get a promotion, right? Um, so this is on this day, the, uh, let's say the opportunity arises. So uh, arises. So uh, one day, uh, the company's owner's sister is visiting and she has a meeting with her brother for an hour, but where, while she was uh, passing by your desk, you overhear uh, her speaking about the $10,000 uh, USD that she wants to invest into a leading uh, technology company in uh, the US stock market. So you, you overhear this and you are so excited and uh, like mo motivated, so you decide to go through the seven, the magnificent seven, uh, which are which are uh, the leading tech co companies in the U.S. stock market, and you want to do uh, some analysis and come up with uh, a recommendation on which company she should uh, invest that ten thousand uh, U.S.D. dollars. So you, uh, so. Uh, you are going to answer uh, uh, with data, obviously. So your recommendation and your decision should be data driven, and you might finally get a chance to get promotion if you impress the sister, of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you know uh, that data rules the day when it comes to me making investment advices, but you only have one hour because she is in the office uh, to have uh, uh, an hour long meeting with her brother and uh, she doesn't have long. So you have to gather the data uh, do the analysis and uh, come up with a recommendation within one hour. So, yeah, so uh, here are the, uh, so your final answer is going to be picking one of the Magnificent Seven stocks. So the Magnificent Seven are, they usually were uh, five, but yeah. So now there are seven, uh, which include uh, Meta, which uh, was, let me get the list here. Uh, yeah, so here are the Magnificent, uh, no, not this one. Yeah, here are, here they are. So here, uh, the first one is Alphabet. Uh, the second one is, which is also, uh, which is known as Google. Uh, 
Uh, the second one is Amazon. Uh, I think we all know Amazon, Apple, uh, third one, Meta, which was uh, formerly known as Facebook. Uh, Microsoft, NVIDIA is the new uh, that joined the uh, Magnificence. And Te Tesla, so these two are actually new uh, that joined, but previously it was just five, but now it's seven. So you're going to have to go through uh, these uh, seven companies, do some analysis and come up with a recommendation of one company that the sister should invest, that you think that sh the sister should invest her $10,000 in, in order to get a good uh, return on her investment. So you, we actually have a session on financial indicators, how to interpret them and uh, what they mean and so on. Um, so if, if you don't have that much knowledge about finance, uh, don't worry about it. We will cover that as well. But yeah, so you will take a look at the key financial indicators to make you, uh, to help you make the recommendation. Uh, you will be focusing on at least five years reports from each company, which is from uh, 2018 up to 2023. And then after you do you do your analysis, you're gonna be submitting a uh, one-page report uh, a summary uh, about your re recommendation. And we we'll, uh, we will actually see uh, what uh, is to be included in this report later on. Yeah. So uh, and the phase two actually is LLM. Yeah. But uh, in addition, LLM will speed up your search analysis and report, and we will be looking at how uh, this is done. So the clock is still ticking, so you you better get started uh, soon, because you only have one hour, but at least in the scenario. Um, so uh, for phase two, uh, you have a colleague uh, that sees you uh, the work that you did, and would like to learn about LLMs, which is large language models, and how to use them for uh, searching and so on. And you promise them uh, to put together a brief uh, for them uh, and uh, on this to help them uh, or learn how to use LLMs in order to search and uh, do analysis and so on. So your phase two or your second phase is going to be writing uh, like putting to, to, together a material that's going to help your colleague uh, learn how to use LLMs. And the final phase, which is actually uh, optional, but a lot, a lot of fun, is an hour uh, long LLM Olympic session where we uh, actually compete in um, teams, in groups, uh, by using di uh, different LLMs and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be on Friday, and uh, we will have uh, more on this topic, I think, on Thursday. But yeah, we had it on the last batch, and it was a lot of fun and a lot, uh, a lot competitive. And I hope to see you all there. But yeah, so these are the phases. Uh, is everything clear so far, guys? OK. Okay, uh, what about the rest? Okay, I'm going to take that, uh, say yes, okay. Okay, so the expected outcomes are uh, use LLMs to gather uh, targeted information instead of web search, which, is, which takes a lot of time. So we'll be seeing how we uh, are going to use uh, LLMs you know, instead of the usual web search. So. Uh, what I like to ask the trainees, uh, or especially or specifically on this challenge, is to time their uh, that the, the amount of time it takes them to search the web, and the amount of time it takes them uh, to search uh, on LLM by using LLMs, the same thing, and just compare uh, which is uh, actually faster and which is slower and the quality of the data that you get. So I would like to ask you guys to do that, but it's not uh, part of actually the challenge. 
And the second thing is analyzing key financial uh, information about a company, which include cash on hand, total re re revenue, uh, the market capitalization, research and development spent, uh, net profits and return on equity. And gain experience in prompting uh, LLMs and learn how to uh, compete LLMs. So uh, this is for fifth, uh, phase three. So we're gonna be competing by using uh uh yeah uh, my, microsoft openai which is charge pt meta uh, google and gork uh, hold on a second Oops. Uh, so yeah so uh, there is no data set that we are going to provide, but we do actually provide a, uh, a sheet a good, uh, uh, that's going to show you just a template of how uh, you can uh, gather the data. And I will show you actually, I think it's included here. Uh, so, the, the key dates, um, challenge introduction, which we are having right now, the interim submission, which is going to be on Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m., uh, and the final submission on Saturday, as usual. Yeah, so the deliverables and uh, tasks to be done. So here, from here, we're gonna be talking about uh, phase one up to uh task four so uh, for the first task you're going to be gathering the key financial indicators by using llm search so for this week we chose the microsoft's copilot in order to uh, help you with uh, get, uh, getting the financial information faster and more cleaner than uh, the usual go the google search so here we have actually included how you can uh, uh, sign up and use uh, Copilot. And we are going to actually have a session on that one as well, uh, just to show you how, we, or we are going to be using the Microsoft for this week, the, the Microsoft Copilot for this week. Uh, so here we have actually given you an example prompt that you can use in order to search or gather the financial information for the companies. So here, uh, which are the magazines? Uh, instead of company name, you are gonna put the company name here. So it's a placeholder. So you can actually use uh, this uh, prompt in order to uh, search for the key financial indicators. And here, make sure uh, to collect, uh, is that a question? Yes, I would like. Maybe Abdullah, can you mute your mic? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna do it for him. Okay. Uh, okay, so make sure to only have one or a single Google Sheets and all the company's information is on one tab in a standard format. Uh, so ensure that you convert the uh, and represent billions, millions, and trillions consistently. So if you are using in a format of millions, make sure to uh, actually convert every company's information into millions. And if it's in billions, you may make sure to, 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 to do that for every 
company so that you have consistency when uh, doing the analysis. Uh, yeah, so we have actually provided a Google Sheets uh, template that you can use. So here, uh, so do not try to work on this uh, specific template, but just uh, make a copy and paste uh, and work on your copy. So here you you are just going to use uh, this template if you if you like. So this is for one company, uh, and you you're gonna have seven companies here. Make sure to uh, give them the right name, and yeah. And here you're gonna be pu putting the data, which is their their the, their key financial indicators. Um, so is that clear? Is, is task one clear, guys? Yes, Collins. Oh, okay, uh, I want to ask, are we using, a, okay, we must use different companies or we can use a, a company for, since there are different questions, can we use uh, one company to answer those different questions or we must use different company for each of the subtasks? Okay. Are, uh, are you saying that uh, questions, do, do you mean these ones? Yes, yes. Uh, so these are not questions. These are the financial indicators for each company. So you have to find the financial indicators for each company. So, so you're, you're going to be uh, looking for this for the seven companies, not just for one. So you, you're going to be uh, searching for cash on hand for Meta, uh, uh, gross revenue for Meta, market capitalization for Meta, uh, R&D spent uh, on Meta, uh, for me, Meta, net profit for Meta, and return on equity for me, Meta. So that's going to be uh, one sheet, only for one co company, see here. So here, if you name this one uh, Meta, uh, so you're gonna be finding the uh, financial, the key financial indicators results for one company, and you're gonna be creating another sheet and doing the same thing for uh, the other company. So you have okay. to do this uh, for the seven companies. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, any other questions, guys? So is uh, the purpose of the project is to get a skill to gather uh, data from by LLMs, is that the final uh, purpose? That's one of the, the purposes. So, or the first uh, expected outcome is to use LLMs to gather targeting information instead of a web search, which is uh, more time consuming and actually uh, uh, more dirty than the LLM, the, what, what the LLM uh, can get us. So that's one, and the uh, others are actually listed here. So how to analyze key financial indicators for about the company uh, and exp uh, gain experience in prompting LLMs. And uh, this is optional actually, and uh, this is going to be held on the LLM Olympics, which is learn about competing uh, LLMs. So th these are the expected outcomes for this week. Okay, uh, so any other questions before we move on to task two? Okay, yes, Shirtrak, yes, uh, Adisanami, Adisanami, sorry. Yes, uh, good, good morning, thank you very much. Um, good morning. I, my question is, uh, yeah, my question is um, on the tax one. You're talking about is the all this one you've been telling us is it for the tax one and uh, is it going to be submitted on Wednesday? That's what I want to ask. Uh, so the question is, uh, what's going to be submitted on Wednesday? On Wednesday and uh, this all these financial indicators you told us. Is it for the so, last one getting all the for all the cop seven companies? 
yeah, uh, we will get to the due dates and the submissions. So we are going to see yeah, which is going to be uh, submitted on Wednesday and which is going to be submitted on Friday or Saturday. I mean. Yes, uh, 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 and what, what, what I, I want to ask again that the, the all these uh, indicators you just told us that we get from each of the companies, are they what we are submitting for the tax one? Uh, okay, I think um, I'm here. I'm having problem he hearing you, but if I get it correct, so for Wednesday you're gonna be submitting uh, the financial indicators, the key financial indicators, by using these templates. So is that the question? I'm I'm really so sorry, but I'm not hearing it. I think correctly. Maybe uh, if. Uh, Uh, maybe can you type it if I didn't answer? You, 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 you answered. You, you, what what I'm asking is, the, 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 you, you said we are done with the tax one. I want to go to the tax two. Now, the, what I ask is that is all this we you have told us now are they for tax one? Yes, uh, th this is all for tax one. What I have discussed right uh, till till now, yeah. Okay, okay. So we are just moving to task two. So the first one one is just gathering the financial indicators. Yes. Uh, what, what, was that a question? No, 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 no. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I thought. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So the first one is just uh, was just uh, how to gather. The key financial indicators, um, but task two is uh, analyzing the key financial indicators and making a recommendation on your findings. So you're gonna be picking three indicators from the list. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, understand me, your mic is uh, not muted. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So uh, you're gonna be selecting three financial indicators uh, from the list, which are cash on hand, gross revenue, the market capitalization, r and spent, uh, net profit and return on equity. So we're gonna be having a session on what each indicator means and how uh, we can interpret them so that you, you can have uh, an idea on which one to choose. And you're going to be creating three graphs, uh, one graph for each indicators, which we have chosen earlier, uh, and uh, and include all the data from the seven companies in one single graph. And you're going to be showing us, uh, so extract the data uh, for each indicator. You need to extract the data for all seven companies for five years, which is from uh, 2018 up to 2023 and ensure that the data is consistently formatted as i have mentioned earlier if you have chosen to go with millions make sure to convert every uh, indicators into millions if billions and trillions the same thing so uh, you're going to be selecting the data you're going to be highlighting the data range that you want to include in the financial indicator so if you choose uh, cash on hand you're going to be selecting cash on hand for all the companies across the five years and you're going to be uh, clicking on insert so this is just a clo uh, work through of how you can uh, create the chart uh, but we i believe we have actually a session on how to create the chart but this is just to give you if you don't want to go through the video you can just follow these steps in order to create uh, the chart so yeah you can just read them and uh, then you're going to be deciding which company you feel is most li likely to perform well in 2024, which is the current year, uh, based on these uh, three indicators that you have selected. So you're going to be reviewing the graphs, examine each graph, identify the consistency per per performer, especially uh, consistency is key in this uh, market. So you, you're going to be identifying the consistent uh, 
uh, company. Uh, so you need to look close at the trends and the patterns in each uh, of the three graphs you have created. Pay uh, close attention to each company's performance. Uh, you need to identify any company that shows consistent growth or stable uh, stability across the three indicators. And any company that has uh, any company uh, that have significantly outperformed the others, you need to make note of it. And yeah, compare the overall performance, create a summary table for it uh, by sub summarizing the key data points for from each of the three indicators of all seven companies and create a, a simple table uh, to compare the performance of each company across uh, all three indicators. And then you need to evaluate consistency, consider which companies uh, consistently performed well. And yeah, this is just to help you to make a recommendation because you need to, when you write the recommendation, when I mean, uh, when you write the recommendation, you're gonna be having to uh, recommend your your boss's sister in order to invest in a company, right? So you're not going to just show her uh, the pictures. So you are actually going to include the three graphs that you are uh, you are going to create right now during the analysis, but you need to include the recommendation uh, paragraph. So you need to uh, just go through these things in order to find out which company is recommended and why. So yeah, you're gonna make a decision uh, by weighting the indicators, uh, decide which of the three indicators is most impo important for uh, future su su success in 2024. So some companies uh, might have a bigger uh, investment in research and development. If you feel research and development is more crucial than return on equity for this year, you might, uh, uh, I mean, for la last year, if you feel research and development uh, um, uh, investment is more crucial than return on investment to get a more return on investment this year, you might decide that one, but we will actually have a session on the key financial indicators in order to help us with this one. But yeah, so I assign more ways to the indicators you believe are more crucial for predicting future per performance. And finally, you're gonna be ranking the companies based on the analysis. You're gonna be analyzing the three indicators, rank the seven co companies according to your analysis. And yeah, select the top co company. Obviously, you're, you're gonna be recommending her to the top company. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna be uh, recommending a company which you believe is most likely to perform well in the current year, which is 2024. And then, um, so after you did the analysis, you're gonna generate a one page uh, paragraph, so, sorry, recommendation. So you, you can actually use an LLM for this one. Uh, so you should actually answer these questions when you are creating or generating the one paragraph recommendation. So which company did you recommend? Uh, which company did you compare it with? Uh, how did you, how did uh, the company that you are currently recommending outperform the competing companies on which areas uh, and add data to stock price growth uh, that company in uh, the uh, 2018, uh, 2018 up to 2023 period. And yeah, so that's going, going to be uh, what you are going to be including in your paragraph. And you can actually follow these uh, steps uh, in order to do that. So just, just an example uh, step that you can do, that you can fo follow. So you need to summarize your analysis, uh, review your findings, uh, identify the key points that you want to highlight, and then formulate your prompt. So we have actually uh, given an example prompt that you can use. So uh, write uh, one paragraph recommendation for company. So here is the company name uh, of your rec recommendation that you would like to recommend. 
you need to explain why it is the best choice of 2024 based on its performance so you need to put here the indicators that you have chosen in order to uh, just uh, make your decision and do your analysis and uh, so uh, comma you compare to other companies here you're going to be putting the six the name of the six companies and based on the following uh, data summary so here you can actually copy and paste the table your uh, data summary table so it will generate a good result for for you yeah so here is just uh, you can use llm to generate your recommendation uh, so you we have seen how to uh, access llm tools so uh, if you are new to this we will have uh, we, we you can just raise your question and we will have a session on this one so uh, access llm tools uh, input your prompt and join the graph the paragraph sorry and then of course you need to review it and edit it if necessary and then yeah that's going, going to be your report so uh, any questions on that one on task two i think uh it seems like yeah. a lengthy task but it's not yeah yes abraham uh when we collect uh, the data from uh, llms uh, did we ask uh, the uh, boot or the llm model uh, in a different way that you present uh, for example to ask them uh, to get the data of each uh, company separately can we ask uh, it to give us uh, in a collective way to get uh, or to draw uh, a graph uh, uh, easily can you get in my question oh yeah yeah i did i did i think i did um so you can you can technically uh, ask the LLM to fetch all of the data at once, but it will it's not recommended actually. It's recommended that you do it individually in order to just uh, avoid some errors. So LLMs are not perfect; they are far from being perfect, and they do make a lot of mistakes. So you need to always review their uh, generated results and uh, just go through it. So that's why we have actually uh, give, given you a prompt. So we need to see the, the, this. So if you uh, try to generate everything at once, you might, you might find it uh, a bit hard when you try to just copy and paste it here. So I would recommend you to uh, do it individually. Uh, we have actually uh, provided an example prompt that you can use here. But if you like to try it, I would uh, I would uh, definitely recommend uh, that you try it both ways and see which one is better. But yeah, you can do it. Thank you. Thank you. It's po po possible, yeah. Uh, any other questions, guys? Um, okay, is everything clear so far? Yeah, it's okay. Clear. Okay, thank you, uh, guys. Okay, so let's move to uh, actually task three. Actually, task three is just uh, developing a one-page summary. So uh, what the one-page summary includes is you need to put the three graphs that you have actually uh, generated by using the three financial indi indicators that you, that you have chosen in task two and your uh, one paragraph recommendation and we only accept one page pdf so yeah the pdf is going to include three para three graphs and one paragraph recommendation so yeah so this is what you are going to show your boss's uh, sister so just uh, try to do it in a short manner okay uh yeah so here we have actually included uh, as i promised uh, included steps that you can follow in order to get the report 
so you can go through this one so you here is uh, how you can uh, create the uh, actually import or uh, copy and paste the three graphs that you have created in your sheets and how to include the one paragraph so you can follow these steps if you like yeah so insert the graphs everything and the recommendation paragraph and Okay, then how to call, call it into a PDF. So if anything, if you have any questions, uh, you can just refer to this do document. Um, so, yeah, so for us, yes, uh, yes, Abraham. Where we can get the document? Uh, which document? Okay, you mean the challenge document? Yeah, the document that you uh, are presenting yeah it will be uploaded on the all week three channel on slack as soon as we are finished with this session okay great um so for task four if you remember this is for phase two which is uh creating or putting together materials in order to create to help your colleagues uh learn how to use llms for searching I'm sorry, I think there is an ambulance passing by, so there might be some noise. Okay, so uh, I think that's passed. So what you are going to do is, uh, so LLMs are new for many people and they might not be aware of the additional benefits that they may provide. Uh, so we want to create a simple and uh, simple to access brief suitable for your colleagues so it should be less than two pages uh, and this should include uh, graphs uh, pictures diagrams and you should include informal language because these are your friends your colleagues so uh, you can just uh, talk to them friendly so it's good to include informal language here and your colleagues should want to use this uh, so it should be attractive and uh, inclusive. So you can actually use a real life if you like. So uh, so make sure to create a report or a, like a brief that you can use in a real world. So imagine that your colleague or your friend or your mom or your dad or your brother is not uh, like, is not is new to LLMs and you want to share with him how to do it and you want to give him this document in order to help him uh, just know how to use it. So explain in one, to, so how you're gonna do this, we have created uh, some uh, bullet points. So explain in one to two to sentences um, how LLMs uh, can replace Googling uh, and should include link to one LLM, so uh, you, you, you can cho choose ChatGPT, Meta, uh, Gemini, and so on. It's up to you. And explain how they can uh, sign up and give them three example prompts that they can actually uh, use and get results. So uh, for bonus, you can create a Loom video uh, that's uh, uh, 60 to 90 se seconds long. And in this Loom video, you're gonna be showing them or we're working them through uh, the whole process that you have just discussed. Yeah, so uh, the this is just LLM Olympics, just, just uh, fun and games uh, while le learning, which is going to be uh, on Friday. So this is optional, but uh, I would recommend you to join in. Yeah, so uh, that's basically it for uh, the tasks. Before we move on to the due dates and the submissions, are there any questions? Is everything clear? And we need to make sure that everything is uh, on point before we move on. So is everything clear, guys? Um, yes, Adisan. And the environment. Um, Thank you. Uh, the 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 question I got it. The question I want to ask is about the uh, the submission in PDF. 
right and links i've been having issues with submission i and i don't know how you guys can be of help why when i get my tax done if i'm if I face challenges in submitting, I can you render some assistance in that area, please. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, Adesanmi. I think uh, we had actually set up a one-to-one -one, uh, meet on Friday, but I believe you were not able to make it. Uh, but yeah, we can actually reschedule and do it again anytime. So just ma make sure to write uh, to DM me on Slack so that we we can see that one other meet. And yeah, uh, Bernard, you can go. Okay, thank you, good morning. And um, welcome everyone to a new week. Yeah, so we are hoping that this week will add up to the previous ones as well. So basically, um, it's a suggestion, if possible. So um, I'm thinking that um, uh, before the challenge, like we meet for the if, the document can be sent to us early so that um, we can just crunch through so that uh, whilst you are taking us through to be easy for us to align to it. So that's just, just my suggestion. So if we can get it uh, maybe ahead of code, maybe even 10 minutes ahead of time so that we can just crunch through and then whilst you take us through, we align to it so that I think certain clarities can come. I believe in that sense, uh, if there are even questions, it will come out easily for us to ask whilst you are taking us through the challenge as well. Um, okay, thank you for the suggestion, and uh, we will make sure to share the challenge do document early in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, okay, any other questions? Uh, okay, if not, let me just move to uh, the submissions. So, as you uh, all know, uh, as you know, like we have two submissions, which is the interim submission and the final submission. Uh, and uh, so for the interim submission, uh, you're gonna be submitting uh, only task one, which is uh, a seven page PDF on uh, we, where you only have one page for each seven companies or the final, the uh, sorry, uh, seven page PDF where you have one page for each seven indicators, the seven, the seven key financial indicators that we have talked about earlier. So you, you're gonna just uh, be submitting what you have gathered on uh, task one. So ma make sure uh, uh, one page is showing the data for each company. So if the first, uh, if the first page is for the first uh, company, you need to uh, ma make sure that that page is only for that company. And each page should have the same formatting and the currency should all always be in uh, USD for each report. You can use the Google Sheet uh, template that we have provided. And yeah. So that's going to be your task one and what you are going to be submitting on Wednesday for the interim submission. Uh, and for Saturday, which is going to be your final submission, uh, you're gonna be submitting uh, from task one up to task four. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, what you're going to be submitting is for task three, you're gonna be sub submitting a PDF, which is going to be your analysis and uh, and the recommendation which is just a one page uh, uh, report and for task four you're going to be submitting uh, your uh, let's say if you decide uh, like your uh, task four here a brief that you have created for your colleague and as on optional you can uh, to, to get some bonus you can create a loom video and after you uh, create the loom video you can share the link with us for ta task four of course which is uh, a video that works through your colleagues into how to use uh, these llms yeah so so yeah objectives uh, so 
uh, the final the final submission has two parts. So the for task three, we aim uh, to have the trainees to develop a very uh, a very simple recommendation based on the three graphs, uh, comparing the three uh, uh, indicators, financial indicators. And uh, they will learn how to gather data using LLM search as well as uh, the value of different financial indicators. And for task four, uh, it's uh, just a report that aims to train the 12 trainees, uh, brief their colleagues on how to use LLM for searching and cover the how and the different LLMs to give examples. And the video is just for bo uh, bonus. So yeah, as I have said, um, task three, you only need to submit one page uh, report, which is in a PDF uh, format. And for task four, it's also a report, which is a two page uh, summary report. And uh, yeah, the optional uh, part, which is task for video, look the video, you only need to submit uh, the link. Okay, um, so for the tutorial sessions, we just had uh, the introduction to the challenge. In the afternoon, we're gonna have the introduction to LLMs. And tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we're gonna have LLM searching and prompting. And on Wednesday morning, we're going to have, uh, more, which is actually afternoon, we, we're going to have introduction to the financial indicators. And Friday, we're going to have the LLM Olympics uh, session. Yeah, so we will be giving uh, comments and feedback uh, in addition to grading for this uh, project. Yeah, so that's it from my side. Uh, for the introduction to the challenge. So if you have any questions, yes, Elvis. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone, once more. In the submission, final submission, uh, I observed that it is required that we submit uh, from task one to four but there is no mention on how the task one will look like in the final submission. Uh, yeah, I think it was a typo. I will actually, I was uh, going to edit that one. It's supposed to be uh, task three and four, but the reason uh, uh, I think, so the analysis starts from task two, right? And uh, task three is just the report. So task two, uh, you have to do the analysis, but we only want the report. But uh, task one is not included here. So just you only need to uh, re give us a report for task three and task four. So I think, I believe that was a typo. Thank you. Let's Thank see. you. Okay. Abraham? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay like sir. Yeah. for. <laughs> My question is for the analyzing part. Uh, instead of using Google Sheets, can I use uh, other uh, visualizing platforms, or it is mandatory to use a Google? Uh, so that's a great question. So uh, most of the tools that are recommended uh, or that uh, that you see here are recommendations. We believe that uh, these tools are widely used across the companies currently, and they are really good tools. That's why you, we recommend uh, Go Google Sheets. Uh, we have actually gone through the, the advantage of Google Sheet uh, uh, when compared to the others. But if you feel comfortable by, by uh, or using other tools in order to do the analysis and vis visualization, you can. But I would advise you to get used to uh, go Google Sheet because it's fast, it's uh, easy to understand, and so on. That's why we recommend it, but it's not mandatory. We only need your analysis and your re results and reports. But uh, for task one, you after you uh, gather the, the the data, you only need to give us a PDF, so you you can use other tools as well. You are not limited to any tools. Okay. 
Okay. Coins. I just need a more clarification on the optional tax for the long video. Oh, okay. So, uh, so on task four, uh, your colleagues asked you to give them a brief on how to use uh, LLMs, right? And you actually did uh, uh, a report for them. You actually got gathered a simple to access brief. But if you need, or we would actually recommend this, you can create a Loom video. We will show you how to use uh, Loom video, how to create them and how to share them. Uh, but you're going to be creating a Loom video that's uh, a minute long or a 90 second long, just to show them how to use LLM. So starting from the sign up, uh, going to the prompting, writing the prompt, and seeing the results. So yeah, that's just the, the Loom video showing your screen uh, when you are uh, while you are doing or wo working on uh, the LLMs. Okay, okay, okay. Since uh, since you are going to show me, I think it's it's fine. Yeah, I will show you. It's okay. Yeah, we will have a discussion on this one on uh, I believe the weekly discussion, weekly challenge discussion. We will see it there. Um, okay. Okay, good. Um, any other questions, guys? Yes, Sadisan. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Good morning again. I am asking a question on the uh, tax one. Since you said uh, there will be seven pages submitted, uh, and uh, you said you're going to give us a Google sheet is the seven pages are you referring to the google sheets as the seven pages or there will be I mean, uh, maybe microsoft where the uh, pages seven seven pages then also google sheet again that is the question i want to ask did you get my question please i'm sorry uh, i was speaking while my uh, mic was muted sorry I was just saying that it was a great question and thank you for asking it. Um, so uh, you're going to be having only one sheet. This is your spare sheet, uh, one, just one spare sheet. And you, you're going to be having seven sheets. So this is called one sheet. If I add here, this is the second sheet and so on and so on. So we only, uh, we want you, we would recommend you to work on uh, a single sheet. I'm going to de delete it, this one we actually recommend you to, to work on one spreadsheet but uh each sheet for each co 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 company i'm sorry yeah so each company is going to have one sheet but every company is going to be uh in a single spreadsheet uh did i answer your question uh, you, you, you mean the, the Google sheet will be in seven sheets? Then each company has a, a, a one Google sheet? Uh, no. Uh, so this, this the whole thing is called a spreadsheet. So we only okay. uh, need one spreadsheet. But okay. here you can actually add sheets. So when you add sheets, these are sheets. So here each company oh, is okay, going to okay. have a single sheet but okay. uh, every sheet is going to be part of a single spare sheet so okay. you have one spare sheet and uh, uh, in that spare sheet you're going to be having uh, seven sheets i think the naming okay. is a bit confusing yeah <laughs> okay yeah okay. thank you okay okay thank you uh, so any other questions guys So if you don't have questions, maybe uh, show me with uh, some thumbs up that everything is clear so that we, we can end the, end the session. I'm seeing three, only three people.
only four okay <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, good, great. Uh, so thank you guys for joining. Uh, and yeah, see you around.